Hey guys, it's Mrs. Buitenbeentje. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't been as consistent as I used to. That's because my health isn't really that great. And I've been slowly recovering. But if my energy seems a little off, that's the reason why. And it is what it is. So this video is what have I been sewing. I haven't been sewing that much. <laughs> I haven't been able to finish as much either. However, I um, did make a few things and this is in particular for two baby showers that I had back to back. And what I find interesting in sharing with you guys is that I made a few um, baby clothes and my friend with, who's, uh, who does crocheting, uh, she made some lovely teddies to go with it. So it's a nice combo. The first item that I made, I already gave as a gift, so I don't have it, but I do have pictures of it, so I will insert them throughout this video. And the first pattern I cut out of the Berda of December 2010. It is pattern number 136. It is a onesie. It consists of three pattern pieces. It is the front, which is called a uh, cut on the south side you have the back which is cut on the fold and you have the sleeves uh, what is used extra or what can be used extra is in dutch we call it board fabric i'm not sure what the name is i think it's bias binding that could be it too um it's something that you use extra for the um, for the sleeves and for the legs let's say i used um 0 0.55 centimeters of fabric for the smallest size which is size 56 european size in the craft so this is the onesie that i made these are the pattern pieces and here you can see how it's laid on the fabric I want to show you the fabric because the fabric is so sweet. This is the fabric that I bought. I believe this fabric was 14, uh, 14 something, 14.95 uh, per meter, but it is the sweetest thing. Now I already knew that it was going to be a boy, or it is going to be a boy because he's not born yet. And um, so I decided to go for a soft green and the board fabric is this fabric right here, which is a dark green, which is a beautiful compliment by the way. And besides that, what I needed to buy, and I do believe that I have an extra set laying around somewhere, was press fasteners. And those are the, uh, are, uh, these right here it is from the brand Prem. it is um, it's good for jersey and 10 pieces and let me tell you you do need 10 for these because I wasn't sure how to do this I decided to practice on a piece of fabric <laughs> I needed to take it out and put it so I would um, because I was missing one so that's this so that is this onesie right here and uh, moving on i have two other projects that i worked on uh, for another baby shower that is going to be tomorrow and i want to show you because i got this fabric this fabric was a fabric it was a free free pattern i'm going to try to put the link in the description below and it is a uh, one for a for a legging a baby legging what they call it's called Oliver and it's a free pattern by tri triple BF but this is the legging it is um, it starts from size 56 it ends at 95 and it is only two pages so, so that was awesome what I did was I drew the pattern on pattern paper right here and i just have the stickers on it so i know what's the front and the back of the legging i probably even sticked it wrong oh my goodness really 
I know I'm not feeling great if I do this, but hey. <laughs> okay, so I made a legging and I'm going to show you. Um, this is the legging. It is the cutest little legging. I did use, I did put a bias band or, or a waistband. That's one. I made a waistband out of the fabric and um, the same for the legs. Um, just because I didn't, I did buy, by the way, I did buy board stuff or board fabric which complements that however because this is a baby shower in which we don't know what it's going to be i wanted to make it as neutral as possible so this is the little pants and i got the t-shirt as well which was a free pattern that i found and i'm going to tell you what the brand name was it is Brind brindella and twig yeah, that's what it is. Uh, they have a website and they're also on Facebook. I'm going to put all their information in the description below so you can check it out. And this is the little t-shirt. Too cute, too cute. I opted not to use the, um, the armbands. I opted not to use the armbands because I felt like it was a little too much. So I just did um, the stitching, but I did use the neckband and I used the waistband. Keep in mind that you need to uh, stretch the, the waistband a little because the fabric is, I mean, the front and the back is a little bigger than the waistband. So you need to really stretch the waistband so it comes. And it is a very cute ensemble. Oh, and this is cute too. I found these made by me i have the card somewhere here wait it's called www.dronestoffe.nl that's what it is oh i do want to show you the inside i haven't done one of these in so long i am definitely off my game okay so the inside is as follows these are the two sides that is cut on the fold i made sure to keep the seam short so I did cut the seam and because we have a little, um, oh, I want to say because we have this right here, I did have to cut in to the fabric, not cut beyond the, the stitching, but do cut into the fabric so it wouldn't be bulky. And I did the same for the, um, for the leg bands. I did the same and for the waistband. Remember when you're attaching the waistband, you need to attach, you need to change, turn the fabric inside out. So the right sides together, you put it like this, the right sides together, you stitch like this, and then you cut the excess fabric in order to have it like this. And it is, I use a stretch needle and a zigzag stitch. My machine doesn't have the stretch stitch, so I used the zigzag stitch and I used the smallest uh, zigzag stitch that I have. For the t-shirt, I'll do the same inside out. So you can see. Okay, so the t-shirt was cut on the fold, the front and the back. Uh, the sleeve, uh, you have to make sure that you first you start off with sewing first you start off with sewing the shoulder seams then you attach the um, the sleeve and then you sew from the one point of the sleeve up to the end of the t-shirt well as soon as you do that make sure you cut the excess fabric if you want to attach when you are attaching the waistband you make sure that you have the right sides together. You have it like this. You stretch it. Do use as much pins as needed. I used enough because it was kind of like, mm, I'm not sure. And um, so I could put it together and this is how you fold back. The same counts for the 
neckband. So that is what I did. Um, this pattern, let's go in the specific. It consists of one front piece, one back piece, two sleeves, uh, one neckband, two armbands, and one waistband. They're telling you that you need uh, for T3 and 4. Not really sure what type of size that is, but you need a half a yard. One of the most important things. So this is the cute honey piney that my friend made that I'm going to put in my package for the baby shower, which is a nice little doggy. Oh, so cute. Really, really cute. Um, that I'm going to put in the package uh, for my bestie and okay, so that's it as always I enjoy making this video. I hope you enjoy watching Don't be afraid to comment down below if you have any questions or just want to say hey and have a great great day Bye